God bless you. Go, go, Arimasu, yo. Japanese. Japanese. Amen. Amen. Just see who's present today. Bag Blago Slavikas. God bless you. Yes. <laughs> one of these days I'm going to have all 91 languages down. 191 languages. 191. 191. Yeah. Yeah. Where do all different languages come from? God. Might as well say. Richard, you asked some good questions. Easy questions. <laughs> We got a real easy answer to that. Spanish is number one language? I think English. so. Spanish. Oh, English. 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 There's a... <coughs> wherever there is a plane that lands on a runway, doesn't matter what country it is, they speak in English. Oh, yeah. Amen. And all... all, all well, I hear the Spanish with them. Well, they might be spoken for, but... Uh, Wherever there's, a, from wherever there's a runway, <laughs> from yeah, the aircraft, all aircraft controllers speak in English. There's one common language. And, and, and so before we get into the preacher, since you all want to go trivia, <laughs> why, do they, why do they call, uh, uh, you know, when they name like all of the, from the scientific standpoint, they always use Latin to name the genus and the species of a, you know, plant, animals, and everything. Why do they use that? It don't change. Point, original, point blank. It does not change. <coughs> okay. Amen. Exactly. Latin is a dead language, and since it does not change, you know, you what is what is what what is what is today will be tomorrow. Whereas, oh yeah, there's no slang for it, huh? Yeah. Whereas in the in in, the, in English and in the rest of the languages, we have something called the connotative meaning and the denotative meaning. And, and, and what is what is true today might not be true tomorrow. Because back in the 60s, I used to be able to be gay. You ain't saying that now. Happy. That's right. Well, the word gay was happy. Yeah. Yeah. Happy back then. There's a different definition for that. In the 60s, gay was, he was just a happy little, he was a gay, you know. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Being gay, yeah. are you? Yeah. Yeah. That's gay. Yeah. You're happy. Yeah, you're just happy. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what but, the dictionary says. But today you can't be gay. Yeah, because they can't be, but you know. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got that down. <laughs> you can't do that a little bit too good, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me see. I want everybody to know I still have my man card. <laughs> Just because I wear a t-shirt don't mean I'm here. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm mad enough to wear a thing. That's right, that's right. That's right. Real man. Right. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah, can wear a thing. But anyway, that's why uh, Latin is a, is a dead language. And, uh, and and so, and you all can see, it's, it's interesting. And, and that's one thing I think that sometimes we, we let people steal from us. Uh, you know, some, some a lot of times words are so powerful. And, 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 and sometimes we let people, you know, we let culture steal certain words from us that was meant to be empowerment. But he, like, like even, the, even the word Jesus today can lose some of its oomph yeah. because it is used so loosely by so many, yeah. you know. Uh, and and so, so there it is important for you personally uh, to so where not did the name let Jesus come from? God. 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 <laughs> everything came from God. Everything, everything came from God. No, no. Since you asked, Richard, let me let me tell you. Since you asked, the the name Jesus um, in the book of Hebrews, in I believe in chapter one, verse one, it says, "God, who at sundry times and in divers manners." Spake unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken to us by his son. So that in the, in, in, you know, you'll find out earlier on in the book of Genesis, God was known as Jehovah. 
and he was known by all of those. And Jehovah was the was really a compound name. So Abraham knew him as Jehovah Jireh. Simply means God will provide. Um, he was known as Jehovah Rapha. Moses knew him as Je Jehovah Rapha, which means God is our healer. Uh, he was known, Jeremiah knew him as Jehovah Tishkanu, which means God is our righteousness. He was known as Jehovah Nisi, the Lord is our banner. Jehovah, uh, you know, Nisi. Shalom, Shalom, God is our peace. All of those various compound names of Jehovah uh, means different things for, for different people at different times. The name Jesus simply means Jehovah saves. So God has become savior now. Jehovah saves. All right? So that's, that means something. Yeah, Jesus actually means Jehovah, who God is our savior. All right? Amen. That, you know, and, 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 and uh, Richard, I thank you for asking because sometimes we just get such, you know, we just throw out the answers I mean, are too so simple. There's so much stuff in the Bible I don't really understand half Yeah, of so you keep hanging around with us and you're going to become <laughs> yeah. Yeah. wise and other wise. Okay. <laughs> Amen. God bless you all. Uh, and and, and uh, please take account the announcements. Um, we're going to begin back up. All of the announcements are appropriate. Tomorrow night, I uh, hope to have the van full of folks coming over to uh, the, the worship service tomorrow night. Amen, and uh, and have some cars going along with it. Bishop Grover said, send him the theme. I'll talk to you all about that earlier. He said that he had got the message. Did somebody okay. call? Yeah, I called. Okay, so he got the message, and 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 he said he didn't know he was supposed to be preaching. <laughs> he said, they gonna, they gonna, he'll, he'll bring the whole crowd. Yeah, because I've been trying to call him. Okay. So, uh, so he, he wants the theme, and uh, we'll talk about that afterwards. <coughs> Amen. Um, and and <coughs> Tuesday night will be our standard Bible study. We're going to pick up back up the Wednesday class, uh, the first Wednesday uh, of the year. And, uh, and, you know, since I went out of town, I kind of uh, ask you all to give me a little bit because push is, is so important. And it is important to everything that we are about, everything that we do. And by that, I mean that we are here for the saving of souls. This is about getting souls into the kingdom of God. And, uh, and, and there's, some, there's some things that we've got to change uh, in the way that we think. Hallelujah. Our thinking messes us up. Yes. Uh, our day. thinking. Lord, help Trust my... God. Lord, yeah, my, my thinking messed me up. Because too often times we see bodies and not souls. Mm -hmm. Amen. And because we make certain, we make judgments about, well, this person is, you know, uh, of this color, or this person is of this body type, or this person have this hair consistency. Based upon those arbitrary judgments, I'm not going to witness to them, I'm not going to talk to them. Amen. It's, it, it, isn't it amazing how people will people think that the only somebody who need to be witnessed to are poor folks and pe people who are down you know on their what they call I, I, I'm going to say it, down on their luck but but there are whole let me tell you bankers need to be witnessed to because there was a banker now you all remember I was talking a few, <coughs> few you know a few months ago when this thing began to really go down with the with the markets this banker went home Beautiful family, lovely family, beautiful, everything, nice, he's young, went into the basement and put a gun to his head. Wow. Amen. Yeah. And, and and doctors do that. You got more you got just as many doctors who are strung out on drugs as you have people down on wherever yeah. Broadway. Amen. I'm talking about and why are the doctors strung out on drugs? Because of issues. The doctors are looking for help. A lot of psychiatrists wish that they could sit on their couch. Yeah. Take their own advice. You understand what I said? Yeah. A lot of psychiatrists wish that they had someone that they could really open up to and share their burdens with. Amen. So, <laughs> I'm talking about, and, and, and you know, the, the very person who you think don't need help is the very person who really do need some help. 
Amen. So I'm saying this to you all. Can I, and, and, and Sister Lisa, you get everybody in your chair.